this is just part of the Space Force's official service song, Sempra Supra, which means always above, was unveiled on September 20th. It was written by Air Force veteran and musician Jamie Teachner. Jamie, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me on, man. So tell us a little bit about your background and how you became involved in writing the song. Yes, ma'am. So I, I spent years writing songs uh, for the radio in Nashville and had some success at that. Uh, began around 2001, 2002 uh, when I first began the music business journey. And then in 2015, I went into the Air Force and joined the Air Force Academy band Wild Blue Country. And I traveled with the with them i recorded with them and enjoyed that so much uh wearing the uniform and doing the same thing i'd done on the outside uh but actually for my country and i worked a lot with space command and so when i worked with them i learned a lot about the mission and that was what kind of began the journey of writing the space force song and so i mean where do you start um how, how do you how do you begin something like this do you you, you do research i gather Yes, ma'am, exactly. So there's a few things I did. So as I said, I worked for the Air Force Academy band, Wild Blue Country. So I was stationed at Peterson Air Force Base, which became Peterson Space Force Base. And it was dual stationed between, I was dual stationed between there and the Air Force Academy. And when I did that, that was a, a full on Air Force mission of, of a public affairs type vocalist, uh, you know, where we traveled and we played music for the public, we played music for uh, many other things and did, then we sang. But then the other part of my mission was that I was stationed right there beside uh, Space Command at the time before, before Space Force uh, was an actual branch. And I learned so much just from firsthand, uh, you know, being there, uh, firsthand knowledge just from seeing what was going on, learning about the mission and thinking it was uh, very important, you know, knew, knowing, understanding the importance of it, but still, you know, just singing to support them. And then I went to Tuley Air Base. It was a very vital uh, TDY, as we call that, temporary duty. And I went up there with General Raymond and Chief Toberman. And that was probably one of the most significant trips I could have taken because I understood much more of the mission of what would become the Space Force and our guardians. And, and, then, and Jamie, when it comes to the song itself, I mean, where, where did you find the inspiration and what guidance did you get from Space Force Chief General uh, Raymond? Yes, ma'am, well, I read as much as I could on the Space Force. I made sure that um, everything that I, every word I wrote, I wanted to make sure that it aligned with their mission and vision and, and the history of um, all the way back to 1945, uh, I believe is around the first time they started speaking of space. And my guidance was that it needed to fit within the service anthems um, that were that were in the marches, you know, type sound where that everything else sounds. It, it didn't need to be out of the blue different uh, because actually space force wasn't out of the blue. Uh, it was a long time coming uh, for the guardians that they would eventually be called, but it was the Air Force's mission for many years uh, as one of our domains uh, in the Air Force. And so my guidance was to make sure that it fit, make sure the mission was correct, and make sure that it would be something that would that would be added to the Armed Services medley without uh, taking away from it uh, in, in sound. Space Force is coming up on its third uh, birthday. How long did it take you to write this song from beginning to end? Well, the preparation took a long time, but the actual writing, because that was something I was accustomed to doing, didn't take as long. Um, just because when you sit down and you begin, you know, creating something, you normally like to see it through fairly quickly, because if you have your knowledge of what you want it to be, if it lingers too long, it, you might lose the uh, essence of what you're writing. But I began, I, I first began speaking with uh, General Raymond and Chief Toberman um, in just very shortly, just a few weeks after the Space Force had actually been signed into being as, a, as its own individual branch. And that was uh, December 20th, 2019 is when that happened. But uh, the song was written as early as January or February of, um, I can look back and see the exact date, but uh, of, of that time period of 2020. 
except uh, just, you know, maybe went through and changed a few lines and just kind of did a few things from their guidance, of course, and just wanted to main, make sure that I maintained that uh, overall um, sentiment of what the Space Force was about and what it would actually uh, be eventually. And, you know, I wanted it to be something that encompassed all of those things. And Jamie, just very briefly, what do you want uh, people to feel when they hear the song? Oh, my goodness. Well, um, I, I learned firsthand that I'm very thankful that I'm an Air Force veteran and an airman, uh, but I learned firsthand the importance of the Guardian's mission. And just from everything that they do, uh, what the most important thing would be for me to, for people to feel is when they're wearing the uniform in the same way that I wore the uniform in that same fashion, when I would stand and either sing or sing along with or hear the Air Force song, um, I felt a lot of, of pride and, and just, uh, you know, just honor to be a part of that, uh, an humble feeling of being able to wear that uniform. All right, Jamie, thank you. I appreciate you being on the program. Thank you, Mimi, so much. I appreciate what you do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future Government Matters interviews.